So this episode is going to be a little bit different to normal because I want to do a reintroduction. Hello, my name is Carrie Green. (laughs) My entrepreneurial journey actually began back in 2005 when I was studying law at university and I had finished my first year of university and had run out of money completely and was like, great, I need to figure this out. And I remember um, applying for a job to sell ice cream at Cirque du Soleil, mostly just because I wanted to watch Cirque du Soleil because I'd never seen it before. And then this opportunity presented itself for me to start my very own online business unlocking phones. I was like, uh, I don't even know anything about phones. I don't know what the heck unlocking is, but great, yeah, I'll do that. (laughs) And then with a credit card and a spending limit of I think about $40 a day, I got my business up and running. It began to make money fairly quickly and I was like absolutely blown away that a student living in their student accommodation could, with a laptop, be making money online. So when I graduated university, I had a business that was actually making me around like £10,000 a month. I got an amazing law degree. I remember being really stuck between like, do I become a lawyer or do I continue with like building a business? And um, really fortunately, I managed to get some work experience with the in-house legal team at Warner Brothers in London. It was an incredible experience, but actually what I found was that I felt suffocated. I didn't want to be told what to do all the time. It didn't light me up. And I thought if this isn't going to make me want to be a lawyer, I don't know what will. I just want to focus on building a business. So that's what I did. I gave up my place and I decided that I was going to focus on building online businesses. And so that progressed. But as you can imagine, a business that was unlocking phones is not exactly exciting. I was not remotely passionate about it. And so I was just like, what am I doing with my life? I got to a point where it was making a lot of money and I was so bloody bored, partly because the business was so automated. I remember like thinking like, what the heck am I doing with my life? What is my purpose in life? I just didn't know what to do. While rereading the E-Myth by Michael Gerber, um, he has this chapter called Primary Aims. And in this chapter, he says, imagine walking into a room and sat on the chairs of your friends and family. And as you get to the front of the room, you see a box and you realize you're in the box and it's your funeral. And he says, what do you want people to be saying about the kind of life that you lived, the kind of things you achieved, the kind of person that you were? And I remember in that moment thinking, I'm not being the person I wanna be. I'm not doing the things I wanna do. I'm not living the life I wanna be living. I definitely need to do something about this. There's a quote by Tony Robbins, he said, in 10 years from now, you will surely arrive. The question is where? Don't bloody know. I don't know I'm gonna arrive in 10 years. That's what I was thinking, I don't know. And so I realized that if I wanted to live my best life, I had to get clear on what that even looked like, what that meant. Like what would be a really fun, cool place to get to in 10 years? In 2008, I'd had this idea to create a platform to bring together women in business because I felt isolated as a woman in business. Also, I just wanted to find other women like me that I could connect with and we could drink wine together and we could talk about our problems as entrepreneurs. (laughs) Like that would be fun. And it just didn't really exist. Um, Often when I went networking, it was just like a bunch of guys drinking beer. And I was like, what the hell am I doing here? Like, what am I doing here? started to realize that I had the power within me to tap into my imagination to start to paint the picture of the life that I wanted to live the things I wanted to experience we get conditioned to be realistic and it can just really take over Um, and it definitely had for me so I created this mission my mission success challenge and it was to see what would be possible if I conditioned myself for success how can my life change and unfold and up level if I condition myself for success if I start to get clear on what my dream life looks like what would be amazing things to achieve I recognized that I had this idea that I've been sat on for three years to build this platform for women in business I decided that it was now the time to do it I decided that um, I wanted to be a millionaire um, it had felt like a joke but I knew in my bones that I was going to figure out how to do it I decided that I wanted to build a business that I was passionate about that really excited me. I didn't know how I was going to do it or anything, but I got committed that this was my life. This is what I was going to do. I was going to make it amazing. When we decide something for ourselves, when we truly decide, we truly commit with every cell of our being, 
it's insane how the way unfolds. It's like Rumi says, when we begin to walk on the way, the way appears. When we begin to walk on the way, the way appears. And it's so true. I think for so long, I've been so tangled up in like, I don't know how, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You don't need to know. You just have to trust that you'll figure it out and take that next step. And when you take that next step, the next step appears, and then the next step appears, and then the next step appears. You don't need to know what's at te step 10 in order to start on step one. I just start to network, get myself out there, start connecting with people, and one thing led to another thing, and to another thing, and to another thing. In 2011, I started the Female Entrepreneur Association. It has become a huge platform with hundreds of thousands of women from all over the world. We have at the heart of it our membership, which is incredible, with over 5,000 amazing members. We've got so many freebies and free content. We've got the She Means Business Show that you're listening to, which goes out every single Tuesday. We have our Karen and Co store, where we sell inspirational stationery for women. We have our planners that we sell every year, which sell out every year journals dream books manifesting pens all sorts of fun stuff i've written my book she means business which was published in 2017 if you've not read it yet i definitely feel like that's a great place to start if you want to learn more so many lives have been changed so much impact has been had and it's made millions you know speaking on incredible stages around the world becoming an international best-selling author building a multi-million dollar business and again i didn't know what i was doing i was terrified i was worried that no one would sign up that it would be crappy but I put it out there, I had the courage to put it out there and it's now grown into a membership with over 5,000 amazing members from all over the world. I've been doing it for seven years now, it's been absolutely incredible, it's generated millions and millions in revenue, it's mind-blowing. For me, creating the success that I have has um, always been down to the inner work that I have done on myself that has enabled me to get to that next level of success. For all of us, so much is on the table for what we can achieve, what we can experience, the life we can live. There are no limits, but the problem is that we don't think we can. We don't get committed to this idea that we can create success. If you focused on doing the inner work, on really conditioning yourself for success, on saying to yourself, I am going to open myself up to receiving the success and abundance I want and I might not know how to do this, but I'm committed to doing this. I am committed to living my best life, to achieving amazing things and to creating these amazing experiences. Like if you even just do that, what could you welcome into your life? How could your life begin to flow with more ease? Like it will and it'll be incredible. Is there something you're teetering on the edge of? Like just take that next step and just commit with every cell of your being that you might not know how, but you are gonna figure it out. You are gonna figure out how to bring it into your reality. Open yourself up to being available for it, to allowing it into your life. At the heart of FEA, that's what it's about. It's about getting everyone to a place where you feel inspired, you feel in your bones that you can achieve amazing success with your business, that even if you don't know how, you know that somehow you're gonna make it happen. That's what it's all about. And, and not only is it about getting you to that place where you truly believe in yourself, it's then about showing you the way, showing you the practical steps to take to actually build a really successful business and we work with so many incredible experts to facilitate uh, trainings and courses that are going to help you into mirrors like building your email list and whatever else if you are listening to this now and you're really at an early stage where you've got a dream to do something or maybe it's that you're trying to get to a next level i just want to say <clears throat> you can do it i want you to believe in yourself uh, because what's the point in not believing in yourself what if you just decided that, okay, this is my life. I live one life. I'm ready to make this amazing. And if you think about what it is you want to achieve, just start looking at yourself in the sense of like, you're already there. You're already doing it. Commit to the vision. Commit, and even if you don't know what the vision is yet, commit to the idea that you are going to live your best life, that you are going to welcome success and abundance and joy into your life. Open yourself up to it. Open yourself up to receiving what you want. Allow yourself to receive the ideas, the inspiration, the guidance. You have to choose it. Choose your dreams. Choose to live the most amazing life. And when you choose it, it will begin to unfold. Like Rumi says, when you walk on the way, the way will appear. 
So start walking on the way of your dreams and the way it will appear. Little step after little step after little step. If you've got any questions for me or anything you'd like me to answer, message me on Instagram at I am Carrie Green. Go to femaleentrepreneurassociation.com forward slash story. The whole goal and the aim here with the She Meets Business Show and with the Female Entrepreneur Association is to truly help you to have confidence in yourself and to have clarity around your vision and to help you to realize that you can live an amazing life and that you can build a really successful business and it's about showing you how, how you can actually do it, how to build that successful business, but mostly by helping you to recognize the value that you have in yourself, the value that you bring to this world and the fact that you have something to say, you have something to offer and it's really powerful. You have a voice and it's time to use it. It's time for you to truly use it and to be loud than ever before and to create so much success than ever before and to take yourself to that next level and that's what I want to do I want to help you to get to that next level episodes come out every Tuesday so definitely tune in next week for more inspiration to help you to build the business of your dreams and to live the life of your dreams but for now enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you next week bye I hope you loved this week's episode of the She Means Business Show. If you want more help and support to build a wildly successful business, then join hundreds of thousands of women and become an FEA insider. You'll get access to some of our amazing freebies, to our bonuses, to our giveaways, to so much good stuff. Head over to femaleentrepreneurassociation.com forward slash insider to get all of the goodness. And I will see you next week for another episode of the She Means Business Show. 